Welcome back everybody. It's 2023 and it's about time we revisit this video as we've had a lot of people interested in me making more Terraria stuff. So stay tuned as I kind of embark on another tutorial listing going more and in deeper into Terraria. A game that I haven't really dove too much into but a lot of people are always curious about things when it comes to mods and a few other things. Now Terraria is a pretty well known game so it's kind of one of those things where you're probably going to come across this video and go... I already knew how to do this, or maybe you didn't, but I just wanted to follow up with it because a lot of people have been asking me questions. So just going forward in the future, I probably will be doing a lot more Terraria stuff just to better showcase some cool things about actual Terraria and how to actually get yourself installed with multiple different things like mods and such like that. So let's get started and dive a little bit deeper into what we can obviously have been having a lot of people ask about which is tmod loader if you don't know what tmod loader is well tmod loader is actually what you need to, to load mods i've had a lot of people ask where do you even get this from i made a previous video on how to actually load mods and get mods so here's the thing if you own terraria well all you have to do is go on to your uh, actual store page. So once you've purchased Terraria, Tmod Loader is part of Terraria. It's kind of like a mix. So basically what happens is Terraria is what you purchase. And then you go on to the store, just like you would purchase a game and type in Tmod Loader. I would show you it right now, but then I'd have to tab out of my game. It's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to show it to you, but literally just type in Tmod Loader, exactly how it's spelled here, into your Steam store search bar. If you own Terraria, now what happens is you will launch Tmod Loader, not Terraria. So go to your game because the Tmod Loader is free as long as you own Terraria. Now launch your Tmod Loader and it'll look like this. It will obviously not show you mods when you first get into it unless you have mods selected. So let's get into the next bonus part on how to actually get mods to actually load on Terraria. And this is where the fun becomes kind of like even more enjoyable because of course there's two ways to do this. You can do the normal way of actually getting in. I'm going to turn down the music. Uh, to actually getting into your Terraria and going into one, like I said, load Tmod Loader and not Terraria. When you get in here, it's going to say like Tmod Loader, welcome to settings, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can then click on Workshop. When you click on Workshop, it's going to give you the options to manage your mods, which I already have mods here. And it's going to give you the option to download mod packs. It's going to give you the options to import worlds and do other things. Basically, what you want to do from here is you want to click on Download Mods. When you go to here, it's going to search all of the Steam Workshop for all of the mods and make an easier, well, I mean, in my opinion, easier way of, accident, of actually clicking on individual mods that you want. You can also go to the Steam Workshop, which will showcase everything and probably give you a little bit better of an overview. The bonus about doing a mod browser within Team Mod Loader is you can see things as they've been updated. So you can see this mod has been updated 12 minutes ago and so on and so on. You can also sort by recently updated, sort by um, show all mods. You can also type in whatever you want. So for example, in here, if you want to search for calamity, well, you can type in calamity. And then basically from there, you can just scroll all the way down and it'll tell you everything you want to know about calamity. So for example, I already have the calamity mod enabled, but if I didn't, all I would need to do is basically click on this download with all with dependency mods. So for example, let's, let's download, I think there is a mod for lighting uh fancy lights okay so or lighting essentials also works too so basically what i do is i want to download fancy lighting and i click on more info it's going to say this mod makes lighting fancier by adding smooth lighting ambient ocular blah 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 blah. basically just a bunch of things it'll tell you here then from there you click on download with dependencies and it's pretty straightforward it'll download the mod now that the mod is actually downloaded, I can go back and I can click on manage mods. It's currently disabled right now because of course, in order for me to actually enable it, I have to go to manage mods and click enabled. And it says reload required. So when I click on here, it's going to upload and reload all of my mods without having to, me to actually un or get out of Tmod Loader and go back in. It'll take a few minutes to do this and sometimes mods can actually kind of counteract with each other. So meaning if you have one mod that might incorporate the game with another part of things, you probably shouldn't be mixing two mods that have the same idea. For example, you don't want to be enabling Calamity mod with something like similar to Calamity, okay? So, I mean, there's multiple different variations of, of alterations in the game. 
So you don't want to do that. And you want to make sure that if you're mixing and matching a bunch of things that they're, they don't clash. So because I don't really want the fancy lighting in here, I'm actually going to disable it. It's going to say reload required. I click back. It's now going to unload all my mods and reload all my mods and tell me that now the fancy lighting is disabled. And of course I can delete it and whatever I want to do from there. When you finally have all of your mods ready to go, all you have to do is start your game like you normally would, as in make a character, make a world, and go into actual Terraria. Well, not Terraria the game, but basically T-Mod Loader. So now I'll just go and double check. Okay, my managed mods are there. All the mods I want are ready to go. Are ready to go. And now I'm going to go back in and click multiplayer and uh, host and play, and then I make my world and go into the actual world. Because you have a lot of mods, it will take a little bit for your game to load, especially if you probably are sitting there going, okay, why is it taking so long? And you don't might have not have the best computer out there, but in the fact, it doesn't really matter how many mods you have enabled because it all just depends on how good your PC is. So what I probably would do is start off by just adding a few actual mods and then take it from there. So for example, Calamity, although it might seem pretty tiny, is a pretty big mod. It has a lot of cool bosses, a lot of cool features, and a lot of fancy lights that flash across the screen when you're using different new uh, weapons. So Terraria as a whole is, an, uh, is a pretty good game. It runs pretty well. But as soon as you attach Calamity onto it, well, that's a whole other thing where now you're kind of dealing with a bunch of other things that could be flashing across the screen, new bosses spawning in, new items dropping, things like that. So just be careful when you do and add a bunch of mods. Just make sure that you know, like I said before, that they're going to work well with each other and make sure that they're not going to clash. And then, of course, just make sure that you your game is already running good when you enable each mod so probably mess around with one if you enable a mod try the game out with that mod if you go to the next one so on and so on and so on and that's how basically you install mods for terraria when it gets deeper into the actual mod creation you can go and browse on the workshop and kind of look at people's comments on there to see what they th what they say as well but using their direct mo uh, managed mods Built into T-Mod Loader is amazing and it works really well where you can just download the mods, search for the mods, type whatever you want, and you can pretty much find anything and everything. So there you go. That's how you install mods in 2023, the same way that you did previously. The problem was in my previous video, I think I kind of went a little bit too quick in certain scenarios. So yeah, that's how you do it. And yes, when you do load Tmod Loader, you are going to see a small command prompt window show up. That's okay. That's just telling me that you're lo loading Tmod Loader. Just like in Stardew Valley, when you load your Smappy before actually lo loading Stardew Valley, that's how you do it. And yes, I will be making a, a video on Stardew Valley on how to use mods on Stardew. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great and awesome night.